Pascal, and good morning. I know it's been a long time, but we're going to kick back into this since the school year has started. So we're going to give you some more ideas and more tips and hints on just some fun stuff we can do. Um, today we're going to be doing something, and I've been kind of playing around with it the last few days and everything like that, um, is painting rocks. Um, I know it doesn't seem like a, a median that you would use, and I know it was hugely popular back in the late 90s. Um, but what I did was I went out in my backyard and found a rock. And it looks just like this. And we're going to do something a little bit different out of the norm. I don't know we've done crayon. I know we've done colored pencil. Um, we've just done regular old pencil. But now we're actually going to do paint. So if you have some of these at home, great. Otherwise, get permission from your parents to uh, go to like the dollar store or something like that. You don't need to go outrageously expensive. These ones I had in an old pack that I had gotten. So I'm just using these up. So the rock, what we're going to paint on the rock today is a galaxy. Um, it's going to take a couple minutes or so to dry. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get into doing that. So you're just going to take some black paint and see, I'm going to take some black paint and then I'm going to put it on the rock and just do a nice light coating enough to make it completely black. Um, now here's the option. You can either wait for it to dry or you can, um, just, and paint the other side or you can just, uh, paint the top, which is what I'm going to do right here. Sometimes I'll just paint the whole thing. Sometimes I won't. Now, when you use paints, um, if you've never used a paint before, you'll need to rinse your brush every time you want to change colors. Um, also, do not leave the brush bristles in the water for a very long time because you'll either warp them or anything like that. And also, you don't want to leave paint on your brush because it'll get solid. Um, but what I meant by warping is like it could end up looking like this after being left in the water for a long time. So, uh, so I'm going to rinse my brush off real quick. And kind of let that dry just a minute. So I'm just going to dry my brush off. This is my old, one of my old shirts. So you can just find an old shirt of yours to kind of use as a towel. And then I found a random piece of cardboard to kind of use as a paint palette if I were to, needing to mix colors or anything like that. But we're not going to use that today. So those were just up there as an example. So let's touch that a little bit. Oh, it's a little bit wet, but it's okay for what we're doing today. Now I'm going to take some purple, and it could be any color of your choosing since we're doing a galaxy rock. Uh -huh. So let's see. This one you can either choose to use your hand or if you like that. I like to mix on my hand to kind of get the brush to do what I want it to. So that's a really pretty color. So on some of these spots, we're going to just kind of lightly put a purple. I know it's very, very, very hard to see with the purple. But you kind of want to hold it in place. But you see how it's kind of like a little bit of purple right there? And then if you want to go a little bit lighter, again, rinse your brush. Clean it off. And I'm going to mix up some white. So you'll want to have a clean brush whenever you mess with white. Um, the reason being is, uh, white can easily be mixed with other colors, so we want to avoid doing that. So I'm mixing the colors on my cardboard, so that way I can get more colors mixed in. There we go. And if we end up using too many colors, with black, you can actually mix with paint on your brush. So I'm just going to add a little bit more black in here to kind of give it a little bit more of a galaxy effect with purple still mixed on it. So that way it looks like you know, how you would see in those pictures of galaxies. Now it doesn't look like much right now. As you can see, is a 
bunch of different colors and everything like that. Now we're going to do a technique I like doing. And it's super fun, but make sure you put everything up as a barrier because it can get really, really messy. Um, it's called flicking. Now the flicking, if you want to, you can start with, uh, you'll need a very st stiff, 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 stiff brush. And what that's going to do is you're going to go like this, and it's going to fling it just like that. So I'm going to dip that in the white now. And this is if you want to do like stars or anything like that. So what we're going to do is just boop. And mine kind of did something weird, but it actually looks really cool. So what we're going to have to do now is I will post the finished product up on my Facebook. But uh, that's just the gist of how to paint a rock. I'm going to hold it up here so maybe you can see it a little bit better. And now you've got yourself a galaxy rock. Thank you for joining me today on Valkyrie's Out Corner, Out Art Corner. Right there. And if you have any suggestions or want to submit your own art or any of the projects that we've done, go to Valkyrie. Uh, you can email me at Valkyrie at phalanxresurfacing.com. You can find me on Facebook at Valkyrie's Art Corner or my Instagram, Valkyrie's underscore art underscore corner and we will catch you guys later